How do you relate the feeling of awe at aesthetic experiences with your understanding of the divine? Well, since you confine it to aesthetic experiences, I really am happy about that because it's, it's, it, it would have been a very broad question. So I will tell you that some music, without question, makes me feel the divine. As many of you know, I'm very deeply into classical music. I conduct orchestras periodically. I, I fell in love with it. It was love at first sight, at first hearing, when I was a sophomore in high school. I so loved it. I lived in Brooklyn, New York, and I, was, uh, I had a Carnegie Hall, most famous music hall in America. I had a Carnegie Hall ticket that was given to high school kids for $1. And since I did no homework for four years of high school, I was interested in everything else. I decided I'll just take, I took a dollar ticket to ballet. I got a dollar ticket to an opera. I got a dollar ticket to a concert. I got a dollar ticket to a museum. I got a, a, whatever it was, a dollar ticket, oh, to Shakespeare, whatever. I wanted to, I wanted to experience everything. So I figured, what the hell, if I don't like it, I lost a dollar, big deal. Even then, one could say big deal. Even though it was a lot more money than it is today. Well, anyway, I went, and it was it was literally love at first sight, first hearing, because I'm looking and hearing. I was up in the balcony, quite far from the musicians, but I was mesmerized. I was mesmerized intellectually, aesthetically, emotionally, in every way. So much so, that I spent my next month's lunch money on concert tickets. I missed lunch for the next a month to buy concert tickets. It's totally worth it to me. And to this day, you ask about the, the divine. So Bach in particular, uh, this is what I say. I have, uh, I have three favorite composers. I have many I love, but three favorites. Bach, Beethoven, and Haydn. When I want to feel the divine, I listen to Bach. When I want to be happy or happier, I listen to Haydn. And when I want to feel powerful, and I don't mean it in a, in a narcissistic sense, that giving me strength to, to fight for what I believe in, I listen to Beethoven. They, they have very different effects on me. But I, I will answer your question in a very interesting way. I have argued for years that music is an argument for God's existence because music has no evolutionary use. None. Why did it develop? Why is it so? It's universal, by the way. Everywhere, every culture has, makes music. Why? What's the evolutionary use of it? We don't, we don't know of any. It seems, to, it seems to be a gift that God gave to the human species. And, and so that it does touch the divine for me.